Okay, so today I've got some exciting new arrivals for the the Mr. FPGA. This is something that I bought perhaps two years ago, and I've got the very vanilla offering of the, the FPGA kit, which is the, the standard DE10 nano board, plus just here, a 32 megabyte SD RAM expansion. But you can get a lot more than that. There are a lot of upgrades available, so let's take a look in the box and see what's just arrived. So the first one here, let's open the bag. Got a fan. We've got a new SD RAM stick. So this is 128 megabytes of SD RAM. Some of the newer and larger games, specifically some games for the Neo Geo, they need 128 megabytes to run. So this is gonna enable some of those larger games. This one. Okay, so this is a real-time clock module. Um, this is gonna help with the timestamp on files that get written to the SD card or the timestamp for game saves on some consoles. What's in here? So this is the I.O. board. So this gives us some hard buttons for reset, the on-screen menu, and a user key. It gives us an analog video out here, so you could connect the MISTER to CRT. It gives us an, an extra micro SD card slot here, so some cores can take advantage of two micro SD cards, and the second one goes in here. And most exciting for me, it gives us what's called the Mr. FPGA user port. So this is a, looks like a USB-A socket, but it's actually a user port, and you can use it to plug in things like direct controller adapters, so you can use original console controllers with the Mr. or something like a connection to the MT32 Pi, so you can use an external MIDI module to power MIDI audio for console or computer cores that support that. Okay, second bag. What do we have here? Okay, so we've got a power extension cable. And then inside here, This is the, the Mr. USB hub board. So this gives extra USB sockets so you can add things like Bluetooth adapters for wireless controllers or maybe a Wi-Fi adapter. Previously I was using a, a secondary or a separate powered USB hub and I had some, some issues with it. So I'm hoping for a solution here. Okay, so that's a lot of things. I'm gonna get this all plugged together and let's take a look at the finished article. Okay, we're ready to set this up. Let's start by taking the cover off the DE10 Nano. One. And then next we'll take off the old 32 megabyte SD RAM module. And let's replace it with the new one. Now we're playing with 128 mega power and it says this side faces outward. So you can push this here. Okay, that looks good. Next, the real-time clock. Where does this go? I think it goes around here. So 
So let's push this down into this I.O. socket. Okay, good, so that's in. Next, we'll put the USB hub on. That sits underneath here. So let's take off these screws. Good. Okay, next, the I.O. board. So we need to fit the fan to the I.O. board. So let's take a look at that first. Yeah, that looks like a good fit. So let's push the fitting screws through from the back. And a nut for each one. I don't want to over tighten these, but let's just test Okay, good. Let's connect the fan to the fan header. And then the IO board goes on top of the mister. Now, the IO board does need to fit over these GPIO pins on the Mr. Main board. So we have to align these connectors on the IO board and make sure that there's a snug fit. Once we've got that good alignment, we can push down. Okay, that looks good. Let's plug this in, and give it a try. Okay, so we're all connected. Now, first let's test out the USB hub. I have a keyboard, a mouse, and two wireless controller adapters connected. For controllers, I'm using a PlayStation 5 DualSense. And for anything that uses Genesis layout, I've got a 8-bit Do M30, which is really good. Between these two, I've pretty much got any system covered. Let's power up and test. Okay. Great, keyboard works fine. PS5 controller works fine. And and M30 controller works fine. Okay, good. That's great. Let's start with a SNES core. Console. Okay, 
Okay, Mega Man. Okay, that works great. Next up, let's try Genesis with the M30 controller. Okay, great. So both of those wireless adapters are working fine. Next up, the mouse. So let's try a computer core. Atari ST. Okay, trusty gem desktop. Let's try the mouse. Works great. Okay, I think this USB hub gets a pass. On to the next thing. Okay, we're going to hook up the new I.O. board to a MIDI synth, the MT32 Pi. This is a cool piece of kit, which I've already reviewed. I'll include a link below. We're connected via a USB A to A cable which shuffles the MIDI data and digital audio back and forth. So the audio is generated on the MT32 Pi and the audio playback is from the Mr's HDMI output. Let's power it up. Okay, lights go on, that's a good thing. MT32 Pi turns on, that's also good. On the Mr, going to computer, and AO46, bring up the menu. Okay, good news. We've got a MT32 Pi menu entry here. And okay, use MT32 Pi is set to yes. I assume this means it's been auto detected and should work. Let's give it a try with some games. Okay, games. Space Quest 3.
Okay, that works really great. On to the next thing. Last but not least, uh, another I.O. board test. I have this PlayStation Snack Adapter. Snack stands for Serial Native Accessory Converter, and it's a direct way of connecting console native accessories, so controllers, light guns, mice, directly to the core running on your mister. I've got a original PlayStation 1 controller and memory card just here. So the controller cord connects just here and the memory card connects just here. So that's connected. Snack adapters are connected via the Mr. I.O. port. So this USB will connect here. Done. Okay, bit of a mess, but it'll do. Let's put that down there and power up the Mr. Right, let's run the PlayStation Core. There it is. Navigate to the menu. Pad one. Let's change that from Dual Shock to Snack Port One. Okay, power on the PlayStation. Okay, does it work? Moment of truth. Okay, yes, good. Okay, that works. Memory card. Okay, nice, look. All of those old saves on there. Chrono Cross, Xeno Gears, all those classic RPGs, many hours invested. Okay, next let's try a game. Okay, load. Tekken. Okay, that works great. Okay, that marks the end of this Mr. Add-ons video. For me, this upgrade is super successful. I've had a great time using the enhanced MIDI and controller features from the I.O. board, and I really like the USB hub. It's a lot more devices with a lot less clutter and mess. I'm super interested to hear on your own Mr. Journey. Are there any controllers or games you'd like to see? Please mention in the comments below. Enjoy!